everyone, welcome back to another video. So today, Microsoft have officially released the Windows 8 preview release. So I've been using it now for a little while, so I thought I would make a quick video going over some of the new things they've added. So let's get on with it. So if we just have a look at the interface itself, so as usual, it brings you straight into the Metro UI uh, and nothing's changed drastically here. It still gives you the nice live tiles or that sort of thing. And they have uh, added a few new uh, Metro apps. So if we click on this one here, this is the news one. So again, if we just cycle through it, they, I do think these apps look very, very nice. All these nice big uh, images and nice uh, text. So they are quite nice to look at and read. Um, but will I probably be using them? Probably not. Uh, so that's a few, one of the things that they've added and they've also added the zoom pass uh, section into it here so here you can see we've got all the different music and if we just go on to one of these let's just say album of the day and we can actually play one of these if I hit the preview button if I can get my mouse on it and then if we hit on play so as you can see there, that came off fairly quickly and the actual stability of this latest build is pretty good. The last one didn't have many problems itself, but it is generally a lot, little bit quicker. Um, again, if we go into mail um, from here, if we really wanted to, we can pin like certain things to the uh, the desktop, so, well, sorry, the Metro UI. So if we right click on that, you can see down here, we have some options and we've got pin to start. So if we click on that, it's now gonna ask me, uh, what I want to call it. So obviously it's my Google inbox. Click on pin to start and that's now added it. So if we go back to the Metro UI and shimmy along and you will see that the inbox is here. So when we get an email, we'll get a notification on that particular tile, which is quite nice. Now ignore all of this because this is all the applications that are installed on my Mac. And then the other addition that they've added into this build is flash support in IE. Now obviously this is running IE 10. So if I go into here, you can see I've loaded up my YouTube channel and this is uh, my latest video that I created. So obviously this is using Flash. If I right click on here and if I actually bring this down, I'm still getting used to this mouse. And if I pull that down, you can see about Adobe Flash. So this is using a sort of a custom build um, Adobe Flash uh, that uh, Microsoft and Adobe have been working on to only allow certain applications to use it. So for example, if I hit play on this, Just skip the advert Hello and welcome. And as you can see the video plays but not all websites are going to work with this inside of IE 10 if I right if I just right click I bring up some of the tabs that I've got open so for example here I've got audio open and as you can see here flash is required in this browser so they've actually blocked it from using it inside of this browser only certain ones will be able to use it and I'm sure over time that they'll add uh, more uh, websites to that list and then also what I've been reading, if you go back to the desktop, people have made um, sort of hacks to actually bring back the start menu down here in the bottom left hand corner. But Microsoft have been proactive and they've actually tried to stop people from doing that. And also when you turn on uh, Windows 8, people have made it so it goes straight to the desktop and not to the Metro UI. So Microsoft have tried to stop people from doing that. So if that's something that you wanted to do, it may not be for you. Uh, I'm sure somebody will find a way to get around that, but that's just something to bear in mind. And as you can see here, this is the release preview. I still think this is going to confuse the hell out of people, especially at work, because I support people um, for IT. If I put my mouse in the bottom corner, no one's going to know to do that, to bring up the, um, the Metro UI. And they'll probably forget. And just the whole way of pointing into corners, people aren't going to realize how to do that. So time will tell, I suppose. But that's just the way Microsoft are going with it. I do think this, though, the Metro UI will be fantastic on a tablet device. Um, but for the desktop, probably not. But you can actually download the Windows 8 preview release. And I'll leave a link to that in the description below. So I just want to thank you for watching. If you found this video useful, please give it a like. If you're not subscribed to the channel, click that subscribe button just above and I'll catch you all in the next one.